Welcome back to Observation. It's been six hours since the incident, I think is what it's called. Whatever happened from that storm on Saturn that launched May off the ship into space. There's another ship, another space station, next to us, but we need to do a bunch of things to be able to actually communicate with them. So, let's check station alerts. Camera error. EAS-7. Emma, my cameras in EAS-7 have failed to initialize. Weird. Maybe Jim turned them off. Should be fixed. Try them now. Melfi unit? What is that? Melfi unit log. Melfi cooler configuration report. Jim Elias. Uh, logged in. Configuration sample type cryogenics slash organics. Melfi cooler now configured for organic matter storage. What organic matter are you storing? My mind can't help but go to scary things like people or some sort of alien biological sample or something I don't know how big the thing is though could it fit a person can't really see it from this angle photograph of Jim Elias at his EASA graduation 2008 There's so many laptops on board. Like, dozens. That's weird, I can't actually add it as a system link, even though it says I can. That's the Melfi unit. Is each of these circular things like a storage drum? Is that where you put the things? Marker observations. Uh, product summary of daily observations of marker. Issue 2026, February 15th. Prepared by the EASA Observation Control Group, Marker Research Center. Summary of marker observations. Uh, region location marker characteristics. Helio spot. Spot. Uh, what is this? Class and count. So those are dates going all the way back to 2018. And the most recent one was two years before this report was issued. Conclusion. Proceed as planned. Target date remains February 17th. Confirm. Team members. Jim Elias. William Stafford. Observation Review Group. So they predicted that the next time it would happen would be now, I guess. That was the purpose of our mission? To be here when and where this thing is supposed to happen? Oh, 
Oh, this is a different um, pin code panel than the others. EASA, mission data, eyes only. It's like higher security, higher clearance. Um, how many numbers? Probably four. Yep, four. Those numbers there are four digits. There's numbers all over the place when you really look for them. And what does that say? Ah, oh, graduation! So the graduation date or year or whatever must be the passcode. Uh, yeah, date of birth, active, but no, not the graduation. Wasn't it 2008? Or am I thinking of something else? Let's say it is 2008. Uh-huh. Well, there you go. Precursor 1. It's the mission auth code. The code is Precursor 1. It appears to be a mission code. Precursor 1? But that's not a mission code, Sam. What the hell is Precursor 1? Well, it seems to work. That's the auth code in. Hmm, I'm scared that's gonna do something real bad. Okay. Wait, there's no station alerts, right? Or is this still... I thought they just fixed the camera error. EAS-7. Isn't that where we are? That is. Maybe it just hasn't cleared itself yet. Look at auth code in EAS-7. Done. Find rescue station coordinates in astrophysics. RU-4. Motion detected. And 
and it's gone. I wonder if I shouldn't be doing it at once. Perhaps not. Astrophysics terminal. Far field image, far f oh, near field image and far field. Loading near field. Send data to calm system. Uh, what? What exactly am I looking for? Oh. That? It's an object. Transferred. Are there other objects? There are multiple. Am I supposed to send them all or? Does enter do the same thing? Enter and click do the same thing. Available in communications. Where's communications? What about far field? Am I looking for a specific one? Different ones are noted, but like I don't I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Oh it adds a new page. I see. Objective tracker broadcast. Let's just start clicking stuff. Array coordinates and authorization key required. Incoming? Astrophysics data received. Uh huh. Can I do something? We do have the authorization key, right? So I just need the array coordinate. Oh, it explicitly says rescue station? That giant, giant thing? Yeah, okay. That big old blob. So that's the current direction, that's what we've received, right? Is that what we've received? Because it says the data's received. Let's assume that's correct. So 16, 14, 22. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Good. Broadcast signal router. So it has to come from a specific person? Should it come from me? I guess from me, right? Select crew feeds to route through station comms. External comms or both. Oh, no. We, um... We should do, um, uh, Fisher, of course, because they're the one who wants to talk with the station. They're the only one we know of that's alive on the station. External or station? No, uh, we could do both. No reason to do both, right? External. Broadcast. Ah, Sam, that's a good sound. 
put us back in business. Here goes nothing. <sighs> okay, here goes. This is Emma Fisher on board Observation. Please respond. This is Observation. I have visual. Please respond. If you can hear me, please let me know in some way. It's, um... It's just me left and Sam. I'm not sure how we ended up here. There was a massive power outage, some noise, and then we ended up here. I'm assuming you know all this if you're here to pick us up. Repeat, this is Emma Fisher on board Observation. Please respond. Sam, that alarm. Is that an incoming comms message? It must be the rescue station. It can't be ground control. It's, it's, it's too quick. Incoming? Ah. Sam. Right, remember a while ago we read something about how there's some sort of manual decryption method we can use. That's the thing we're gonna make. Three fragments, so we need the two broadcasts. I know none of these are the broadcasts, but I'm also looking for the third thing we're going to need, which is the thing to decrypt it with. Decryption protocol. There it is. So that, plus the two broadcasts. This is Josh Ramon on board the... Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's Josh! Please respond. I'm a Chinese... Oh, he's alive! Person, how is he? Emma, if you can hear me... He got to the other station. In other stations. He's trying to... I knew he wasn't dead. I just knew it. I guess he must have made it across after we saw May when the rescue station arrived. Oh, God, thank God. Sam, I'm heading to the airlock. Get in your sphere. You're coming too. Yeah, that's... No, that other station is definitely a copy of some sort, or we're a copy. Where they have to jump from one spaceship to another. They use the explosive decompression of a module to throw themselves across. Why bother? <laughs> you can just aim and gently push off. And I can honestly say, now that I'm in that situation, there's no way in hell I would trust my trajectory to an explosion. So that's where you come in. We're in EAS 9. Where are we actually supposed to be? EAS 11. EAS 9. 11 is right next to us. Ready? Nope. Give me a sec. I'm trying to find you. 
Ah. Dear God, it's so disorienting. I know it can be accessed from this room. It must be here. Yes. Ready. <laughs> the poop is on my desk and they just did this rollover that rolled over my hand and then rolled over my glass of water. Which thankfully is mostly sealed, so it didn't really spill much of anything except a couple drops. Boop, uh. correct in the sphere. I'm not sure the science is spot on, but it's better than nothing. You can be my anchor. <sighs> okay. Here goes. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh god. This, this is such horror movie stuff. Freaking clone ship. <laughs> and it's dark. Again, I don't know if it's the clone ship or we're the clone or what, but it's definitely a copy. Yeah, we 
can't do anything in Sam OS, right? Line, of course. No power, not because it's turned off, but just because there's no power anywhere. What do I do in here? Oh, maybe I need to go response mode these hatches are not connected to my system links of course sorry just hang on I'll try to patch them crew. Oh my god. Is that? Oh god. This document's already been recovered. Of course. if the password would be the same then if i don't even know if the other one the other equivalent laptop had a password and i certainly don't remember what it would be
not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do. I just explore. I have no connection to the UN-3 ULB hatch. Emma, I require your assistance. Uh, yeah, on it. in there. Alright. <sighs> Keep moving, Sam. Okay, actually, hold on. I suspect the answer to the password of that laptop is in the same room. So far, it always has been. I'm going to go check that off camera. Ah, there it is, 1942. Seven second audio message. Can't seem to play it though. This is a laptop belonging to Dr. Emma Fisher. <laughs> Try and look myself in UC2 if I'm going to open it up. Just 
That's not me, Sam, and I can't be. Oh my god. This isn't another station. It's our station. Shit. The light. You and Six, come on. all the different arms for Josh.
Well, any of the laptops might be new data then. Or it could be already recovered. It might be the same. I still have scope access even in this low power state. Ailsa would have loved this. With it aimed down at the storm on Saturn, you can see so much of its intricacies. It's a gold mine. If they knew we were going to be here, it makes perfect sense that they would have Ailsa with us. Me too, I guess. All of us. We'll redirect the power to the hatches on your command, Sam. Do a sweep of the modules. Josh might be hurt. Right, we still can't access the maps, can we? Nope. Can see all this, I guess, condensation inside? Open it while we're repressurizing. Jim needs to put on a fresh suit. Go look for Josh. Message to Houston, Sam. Sam? Shit. Houston, I don't know if Sam is broadcasting, but we have problems here. Serious problems. You have to make contact ASAP. I saw Jim heading to RU6 in a hurry and lock himself in. Is he trying to leave? He pushed me out of the way. I've never seen him like that. Didn't mean to play it twice, sorry. Houston, I don't know if Sam is broadcasting, but we have problems here. Serious problems. You have to make contact ASAP. I saw Jim heading to RU6 in a hurry and lock himself in. Is he trying to leave? He pushed me out of the way. I've never seen him like that. Message for whoever gets it. I'm heading to UC1 to get the comms open if I can. With no Sam, it's difficult though. Has anyone seen Jim? Toru data log. System reset. Calibration mode active. Josh Ramon. Uh, failed. Confirmed. Failed. Damage to circuits PA-34 and AQ-01 detected. Unable to schedule module separation. Launch settings updated by Josh Ramon. All settings reset. System lockout in effect. Broadcast all. I just saw Josh. He's covered in blood. What the fuck is going on? Where is everyone else? I don't know if he's hurt or someone else is. Someone respond. I found this special looking hatch. I have no idea where I am or how I got here and how I got to a different place than I got before. Hatch RU1 has been recently closed. It might have something to do with the power being redirected to RU6. Or it could be something else. Be careful. Humidity. Yeah, that's why everything's wet. Did you hear the noise too? We did. A few times actually. I need you 
time things got worse and worse. What do you mean? Josh. He said they were signals, that only he could see them. But that they weren't meant for him, I'm telling you, he's dangerous. The hatch to UC2 is offline. Wait, you can't let him in there. That's his mainframe. It's not my Sam's mainframe. Doesn't matter. It's a bad idea, seriously. Okay, opening now, Sam. Oh, fuck's sake. 